top five TV shows of 2014. All right, Brendan, give them your list. All right. Number okay, five. Okay, I'm joking. Brendan didn't make a list. Thanks, I have a, I have a list for TV. Oh, I thought you had a list for um, YouTube channels and video games. Well, I have TV as long as you count YouTube TV shows. No, we just that's YouTube. That's YouTube. You can't you can't <laughs> double up on your YouTube. Okay. But um so we'll just go with my top five list and so Brendan is going I'll to give some honorables, okay? But... He will give all right, go ahead and give us some honorables for this year. Alright. Uh the first honorable, Psychopaths. It's a great anime about kind of like a nineteen eighty four esque uh, time where everyone's being monitored constantly, and their like brains are being monitored for how and, criminal. And just you know, are. folks out there, when he says 1984, he means the movie. And if I mean uh, the book, cool. and if you don't know what the book is, there is a YouTube channel called Words My Face that has a really awesome video about it. So go ahead and check that out and learn. But go ahead. Anyway, so it's that kind of future, and it follows uh, um, uh, one of the kind of the, the police of that time who go after anyone whose criminal latency level goes above a certain level um, but things go a little bit amuck in that and there's still some like pretty terrible crimes going on um, and there's some interesting dynamics because they they actually use people whose criminal latency are really high to do a lot of the investigation because if they can't because the uh, head people in order to not be criminals themselves cannot think like a criminal, so they can't catch criminals very well, usually. So so in synopsis, they use criminals to catch criminals. Yes. Yes, yes. And I saw it. It was, it was decent. And yeah. it, was... it gets good, um, especially as it goes on. Um, second season was out this year. It was pretty good. Um, Give us another, another honorable, honorable mention. One that I think uh, you would expect me to talk about, because I've talked about a lot. Grimm. They're in their fourth yeah. season this year. There you go. Okay. Um, it's been very good. Like I actually just started watching it this year, so I, I went through Netflix, got through all three seasons, and I'm like, ah, I gotta watch the fourth season now. And now it's not on Netflix, but it's all in other places a little bit. And it's it, it's pretty good stuff. It's a show that's been uh, that's been getting better and better. Um, well, good super. And that's that's show. one of the best things about shows is that they build steam. I mean, not just you know, not just through a season, but through seasons. You know, that get better and better. And Grim is that that's the one about the uh, Grim Reaper who fights like evil people. Well, what the what's going on? Um, he's a Grim, which means uh, he can see people. These things called Vessin, which are like people that have another form. Like some are essentially the idea is like they're kind of like werewolves, they're kind of like dragons and things like that. They turn into these other creatures um, who could be good, could be bad. Um, traditionally, the Grimm's just go and kill them though. And, and he's actually a unique Grimm in that he actually tries to distinguish good from bad ones, <laughs> and you know doesn't kill the bad ones. <laughs> so there you go. There's. Uh, it sounds like a pretty cool. Or it doesn't kill the good ones. He he kills he bad ones. Doesn't kill the bad ones. Ones he does kill the good one. The bad one, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so um, all right, so those are some good honorable mentions. I'll throw out a couple of my honorable mentions. Marco Polo, uh, you've heard us talk about this show. Yep. We will give you a review. That's an honorable mention. Um, Silicon Valley, really funny HBO show about some Silicon Valley nerds who stumble upon a great idea or invent a great idea. So that was really good. Penny Dreadful, that was a Showtime show. Uh, a lot of fun. Werewolves, vampires, Dorian Gray. Interesting things. Frankenstein. Frankenstein's there, too. Um, and so let's just get into the top five TV shows of 2014. My number five show is going to be Arrow Season 2. Uh, I really mm. enjoyed this show. Uh, I like the Green Arrow mythos. Um, if I had to say one drawback was there's a little bit too much CW going on in this show. And mm. that is, it is on the CW, so it's to be expected. But they're like, oh, he doesn't trust me. Oh, it's a little bit too much whining. It's like, come on, be a superhero show. Do you think? I'm actually, I'm actually a little surprised that uh, Arrow made it in over Marco Polo. Yeah, yeah, it did. I, I just enjoyed it a little more. Um, mm. But Marco Polo was very good. So, but then number four, um, I co I'm coming in with Gotham. Uh, that is the uh, reimagined imagining of what uh, pretty much Gotham City was like before Batman arrived on scene. I really like it. They're setting up a lot of the 
bad guys. You're seeing a lot of cool little Easter eggs here and there. You saw Harvey Dent. You see the Black Mask. You see the Riddler before he becomes the Riddler. You see the Penguin before he becomes the, the Penguin. Real Well, they call him the Penguin. But before he becomes that criminal, that super criminal there. So really enjoyed that show so far. And that's one of those shows that's getting better episode by episode. So I hope it keeps going that way. Uh, then number three, I got Attack on Titan. Now, I've only seen the first seven episodes of this, but uh, yeah, it was pretty cool so far. That's a very good one. Um, I couldn't even put that as an honorable mention. Well, I was thinking about it, but I saw it last year when the subtitles came out. I know you always go for the dubs, which came out this year. So Yeah, subtitles don't count, all right? I don't like to read and then watch and then read and then watch and then read and watch, all right? But honestly, like I would put that as like one of the... like. Even higher count it because I, I love that show. That was a great. Well, show. maybe next year you're doing your own top five list and you'll be able to put it higher. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. So going on to number two, uh, a show that I've really, really enjoyed and I'm really upset about because it might get canceled is Constantine. I guess people don't don't feel the same way I do about this show. I've just, I, it's it's really like from the first the pilot episode to the eighth episode, which is where they kind of stopped be, uh, their mid-season break. Um, it is amazing. I, I've really enjoyed it week by week. Uh, they've really captured the Constantine character, I think, pretty well, giving him the smart alecky, you know, but yet, oh, I fight demons for a living type thing. I really think it's cool how they've, They've never shown him smoke, which was one thing that you never, like, didn't see him smoke in the comics. So, um, but he has a cigarette in his hand a lot. But it's just, it's funny how they get around some of those little things that you wouldn't translate from there. But uh, still keeping the essence of the character the same. So that was really good. And then my number one show of 2014 was season four of Game of Thrones. This show could not be any more epic. Uh, I'm not going to give it away if you haven't seen season four yet, but it's uh, if you saw season two, you know what happens during the red wedding where, like, everybody dies? Get ready for the purple wedding. Oh, man, like, everybody's, like... I don't think I've been so happy to see a character die um, as I was with that one, so I might have given it away a little bit with that, but it's just epic. The fight between, what do they call it, the mountain and... Uh, I can't remember his name, but there's this really awesome fight, fight scene in the middle of the season, and... It just ends with epicness. Yeah, yeah. The, probably the, the biggest battle scene of any of the Game of Thrones seasons happens, episode nine, I think it is, um, on the wall, and you have Jon Snow there, and it's just, phew, yeah, pretty darn cool. So if you haven't checked out that one, go ahead and check that one out. But hit us up. Let us know what your favorite shows of 2014 were. Um, do you agree with me? Yes, of course you do. That's it. You agree with me. Everybody's agreeing with me. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so hit us up, let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. 